Welcome back to Redbeard Survival Outdoor. Today, we will be talking about the XTU ZYG9. Hang tight. So I had a rep from XTU reach out to me asking me to check out one of their new cameras that they're putting on the market, test it, do a video for it. 100% unbiased. That's how I do my stuff. So this is the first time I was like, sure, let me do that. They sent it to me, hooked it up, and I tell you what, this has probably been the best trail cam I've ever had, hands down. I'm going to go through the list of everything that it has. I'm going to have some videos to show you real world, just so you can see what it looks like. This channel, I don't do a lot of techie things, but I will go over what comes in this. So starting off the model of this is the YZ G9. You can hook it up to your laptop, smartphone, or desktop, which that is one thing that I am having trouble with is getting it to hook up to my laptop. The website that I go to does not let me log in. I don't know why. Maybe it's user error. I'm not too sure. This is solar powered, which is huge, huge for not having to go out and change batteries in it or anything else. I have noticed, I watched this camera one night because I had probably seven, seven deer just roaming around. I was waiting to see if a buck would come up. But I had, I watched this camera for almost an hour and a half and the battery went from 99 to 92 the whole time I was watching. That was with the IR on and everything. You can have this on Android or iOS. The mounting system on this, it's just like a security camera. But it does come with a strap also. That way, if you want, if you can't drill it in, you can strap it on. The only qualm I have about this, I have two of them. One is the strap that it came with. As soon as I put it on, it broke. The plastic piece that went across to where you tighten it, and it would latch into place, completely snapped off. But that is one thing, one of the two things that I didn't like about. It's not that I didn't like. It was just, you know, you had to improvise, adapt, and overcome. The video is 2K, and when they say 2K, they mean 2K. You can literally watch it on your phone. It does. It's like a PTZ camera, pan tilt zoom, but it is. When you zoom in, you're going to blow it out, so you're going to get pixelated, which that happens. It charges. You have the USB-C charger, which I'm glad because everything I own is Android anyway. It is 4G. The SD card that comes with it, plug it in, you're good to go. I have this camera in the middle of nowhere, and I have three bars out of the four. Nothing to complain about. The night vision range on this thing, you're looking around 33 foot. The uh, flash memory, you put the SD cards in and you're good to go. Uh, I don't know where mine is at this time. Check one of these cameras. Nope, not on that one. So I think I put 128 gig in this one. And that, it supports up to 128 gig. Let's see here. The photo sensor tech is CMOS. The web camera, the webcam resolution is 32 megapixel it is controlled through the app which i will pull it up real quick so you can check it out this is the more cam app it's pretty decent easy to use user friendly release date on this so that's what i was wanting to talk about they just released this this came out in june i think it said june 1st 2024 this is a brand new camera i love what they're doing with this thing I've never heard of this company before, and as you've seen in my previous videos, I've been using a ton of the Guard Pro. Uh, I have that on here as well. Let me exit out of here. I'll pull that up. I mean, that's the Guard Pro app, just a typical, typical app. 
but this one here is awesome. And I'll get into the monthly plans and everything else for the cellular side. It does support up to the 128 gig. This does have two-way audio. I tried out this two-way audio and it worked pretty decent. I had a whole bunch of turkey come up and I didn't want turkey in the, in the field right now. So I got on there and just, you know, made noise. Heads came up, looked around and they took off. I should have recorded that for you and I didn't. So now we're going to talk about what comes in this box. This box comes with a charging cable, SD card, user manual, the camera and bracket, solar panel, and the bracket for the solar panel, and then the screw pack. So I never, I did not use the screw pack for this because I used one of my straps off my other cameras for it since this one snapped. When you go to unbox this, it's literally, everything's right there. You don't have to search for it. Everything's up front. You open it. There's nothing under hidden underneath it. The instructions were right on top also. So it was pretty easy to unbox it. The only reason I didn't show you an unboxing of this is because hunting season was right around the corner. We're in full swing. Stick around for some of them videos. But we, as we, I went out, took it all out. I do have a short video. You're probably already seeing it. Going through what was in the box but I didn't get to do an unboxing video. This takes a second to load up. I found out the reason it does that, it takes a second, is because the camera's off until you turn it on or there's a sensor. So the camera is completely off, which I like that feature also. But if you're looking for a trail cam that you can live watch, go back and watch. The other, the other thing, the other thing is the SD card that I put in this, I formatted it and everything, and it just does not work. It tells me there's no card connected. It might be user error. It might not be. I'm not too sure. But that is the other thing that I had a problem with was just the getting the SD card to work. So the two things were the strap and then the SD card that I, that I try to put in. Now, like I was saying before, if you want a trail camera that you can watch live, that it don't kill you monthly wise. So it does have three different plans on it. I just pulled it up here. You have the unlimited monthly $15.99, unlimited three months is $43.99, and unlimited 12 months is $159.99. It's not bad. It's right around what everybody else is right now. So that's not bad. The 4G is T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T. So they bounce off every one of their towers. So you know you're going to have cell service. That's why I had decent service where I was at. But as for me, I'm giving this a five-star review. I'm going to go on Amazon and give it my review here in a little bit, upload this video. But yeah, this trail camera, definitely go check it out. I'm going to put the link in the description. And as for me, as always, stay at the ready. I'll see you guys on the next one. Out.